I think literacy is important because like without it um, you won't get a good job or like you won't pass your GCSEs or anything like that. I think reading and writing are like two of the main things that you really need in life because it will help you go far. In life English is everything and without it you won't be able to get anywhere. The message that literacy is the foundation of all learning is clearly getting through at Little Ilford School, a large comprehensive in a deprived and culturally diverse area of East London. Morning, boys. Good morning. Head teacher Yvonne Powell has made improving out. literacy skills the Good number morning, one priority morning, at the school. Yeah, everything all right? Literacy is a critical skill. It's not just about the written word. It is about the child being able to express their ideas, their thoughts and their opinions. My name's Kevin and my hobby is playing football. And um, in school, my favourite subject is literacy. Kevin is among the third of pupils who joined the school with a level three or below in English. But he's now doing well. Peace. Go on. Peace. Kevin's a good example of a pupil who's benefiting from a whole school approach to the teaching of literacy, backed up by individual literacy support. Excellent, Kevin. You spotted it. Did you spot that, Wakas? Yeah? That's a imperative. Brilliant. Excellent voice. Well done. Dear diary, no one can understand how, how I have been feeling and what I have been through. I have been so scared. Little Ilford's in the top 10% of schools nationwide for converting from level three to level five at key stage three. How can I do this to people? On Wednesday, we were reading Romeo and Juliet, yeah? Why do you think the friar is shocked? Yes, Kevin? Romeo and Julia are too young to get married. They're too young to get married, so notice how you're giving me all these different reasons. A strong English department leads the development of literacy across the curriculum. And amongst the staff in all departments, there's growing support for the emphasis on literacy. Nathan, Abdullah. OK, so what is the first thing that we might be doing, Kevin, in this lesson? What's that, what's that special word? To examine. We're going to examine, and then what I'm going to try and do, Rosny, we're going to try and classify. Pupils have picked up on the idea that, oh, you're teaching literacy and English, but we've, we've said to them it's part of science, and it, without literacy, we, we won't be able to teach you. It's, it's making links and trying to embed the understanding in um, pupils that without literacy skills, um, you're, you won't be able to understand the science. Oh, no. Oh, so I have to step on this. Back and back. OK, off you go, boys. Karen has correct stance, but he could do better. Literacy has also found its way into PE. Um, this group is um, a very a very able, practical group, but they need a lot of work on the actual communicating and the key words and looking at specific terminology in relation to sport. When they're in GCSE, written is a key part, is a key part of their subject. So they will get into the habit of analysing, giving feedback, um, describing and commenting both verbally and written and obviously uh, complement all the work that's going on across the whole school in writing and literacy. Are you stretching these muscles? No! You're not stretching those muscles? No! Sure? Yes! Why should Romeo and Juliet get married? Yeah. Reading, writing, talking and listening are all valued here, but the school's current focus is on writing. The head of English is leading the drive to get staff in all departments to use writing skeletons, a system already used in primary schools. It's about kind of demystifying what writing is um, and thinking about why we write, the purpose of writing. I think for lots of people the idea of writing is quite scary. It's beginning to, to be embedded, um, but it's, it's a long process. I think it's, a lot of it is about uh, developing the confidence of teachers. Taste was very right, tasty and tangy, warm. You have to really think about your, um, your, what you're going to write down. And so when you keep looking back to your plan, it helps you a lot. 
When Kevin started at the school, he disliked writing. He is the kind of student, certainly when I first had him, if I'd asked him to write, he would, if you, he'd look for distractive behaviours, he would avoid writing. It was much easier for Kevin to get up and wander around the room or to do something else rather than sit there and do something that he considered to be quite a challenging activity. Central to the whole school literacy policy is a series of targeted interventions. You're going to do your own piece of persuasive writing. You've got all the techniques up on the board. Yeah? And what I want you to do is to do the planning. Since attending a literacy progress Hello, unit going, class twice a week, Kevin's work has improved significantly and he's been getting familiar with using a writing skeleton to plan his work. What are the stars for in particular? Like the, topic, like the stars represent each topic. The stars represent the topic for each? Paragraph. Fantastic. And then the lines are what? That um, marks what's going to be in the paragraph. Brilliant. OK. What topics could we have? The first thing that we did was the unit called writing organisation. Um, and I was a little bit sceptical, especially looking at the unit, um, because, to be perfectly honest, in my opinion, the way the unit is presented, the way uh, it's produced, is very, very dry. But what I've found from that is that the skills that it develops are very relevant to the needs of the children. And I've noticed that, especially for getting the students to focus on planning their writing, has had a huge impact. The pupils enjoy the extra attention a small class allows. It's good natured, it's calm, it's relaxed. And I think because the children have got to know each other, that has really helped them with their confidence and they're much more willing to come up and to contribute. They're actually very relaxed with each other. The good things about going to LPU is that um, it feels more better than being in a big room, yeah. Like if it's a small group, you'll have like, not that much noise, so you won't get in trouble and stuff. But if it's only a couple of people, it'll be all right, so you can focus properly. You know, you can say more, because like, there's only a couple, like, a few of us. If you look on the board, we've got what is known as a writing skeleton. It's easy for Kevin to see the connection between his work with the Literacy Progress Unit and the rest of the curriculum. Whenever I'm writing something really long, I use that. Why do you think I would use a writing skeleton? And Kevin clearly enjoys transferring his skills into his English lesson. Yes, Kevin. Can I explain what it is? All right, explain what it is. See the star? Yes. It stands for a topic, innit? And the, okay. lines, and the lines coming from the stars stand for what's going to be in that paragraph. All right, how what do you know that? Mr. Taylor taught us in LPU. It's Mr. T Taylor told you in? LPU. LPU. The LPU. OK, very good. So you've transferred what you've learned to this lesson. Very good. Kevin is fantastic at, at speaking and listening, and he has improved tremendously since the start of the school year. His writing is more structured, the spelling is improving, paragraphs being used. Other subjects also reap the benefits of the intervention programme. Since Kevin started in September, I've seen a great improvement in, in overall in his literacy progress. Um, I feel that he is able to express himself more clearly now. He is able to use more scientific ideas and um, write in a very coherent and structured way. So the LPU units, literacy progress units, have definitely helped him to sort of manage um, what he's thinking and to be able to put it down in writing. A mysterious creature has escaped from the science lab. The grass jar broke and the creature made a quick run. As it ran, it ev evolved and got bigger. Fantastic. That piece of writing is very, very interesting. She played in a jazz group. Mom, can we turn on the news for one second? Asked Monin. The school also runs another literacy intervention programme, the Reading and Writing Challenge. The programme was launched last year, and it's the responsibility of a team of teaching assistants. How do you start the paragraph again? That's fantastic. I've been chosen for this because I need extra help with all the English stuff I do and because like, I've got quite a low level so it's to improve my English. D-R-E-N-L, gone L. 
has helped me to write more paragraphs, helped me to extend writing, in, even in, not in English only, in other subjects. A third targeted intervention is a gifted and talented program provided for high achievers. This group is helping a publisher assess the merits of a yet-to-be-published novel for teenagers. It has a picture of a dragon and it's an adventure book. Yeah, fantasy definitely. Adventure. Yeah, fantasy yeah, adventure. Definitely fantasy. Jack, what do you think was the main strength of the book? The main strength of the book was it had a very strong opening sequence that really gave you a thing. I'm going, I've got to read, I'm going to read on this. This is quite good. Also, also, the ending as well was quite dramatic. I felt quite um, happy to basically judge the book because if we don't tell the author about his mistakes, then how is the book going to be improved and better for um, other people to read? So I was right with it. So say that again. So point being that he's a hero. Your evidence would be that um, he, he had hero equality and that... Head teacher Yvonne Powell is clear the way forward lies in promoting more literacy work in every subject. But this will only come if the teaching is stimulating. Literacy doesn't just come about by focusing on writing. So our main emphasis has been on teaching and learning, making sure the learning is active and engaging. If they're engaged in their learning, if they're enjoying it and see the relevance of it, then of course their confidence to be able to then express something in writing is far higher. My title for my magazine is going to be Teens Dreams because seven children out of 15 children chose it. I agree with this choice because I think it's attractive, catchy and real. Dreams is one thing that every teen wants. The teaching and learning of literacy at Little Ilford is all about looking at individual pupils' particular needs and making sure they're met. A far cry from education 30 years ago. I started teaching in 1974 and at the head of department says to me, write good lesson plans in your first year and you'll be able to use them throughout your teaching career. That was very much the philosophy of 30 years ago. Now you, you have to adapt your planning uh, to the cohorts that's in front of you. So you have to look at the baseline data. And I mean, if I have eight students that are SEN um, with low reading ages, then I have to adapt my planning accordingly. And one thing's clear at Little Ilford, targeted intervention and literacy is boosting pupils' confidence. Julia and I should get married. It will stop all the food, do you think so? I do. It will start off a new generation and help all of us. Please, fire. would you help us stop the food fire? Please, we need <coughs> it to stop. That was very good. All right, well done, well done. From my point of view, I think yeah, that I have improved my level because before I was just writing, like, dull sentences, I wasn't really putting in connectives, buts and ands, but now I'm using more connectives, in depth in my paragraph, using more wow words, and I really think, yeah, my, I've gone up a level, if not even a level, even one level and a sub-level, because I think I've really gone far.